Today we're making orange sauce for duck. Now this sauce is a very famous sauce because I remember having this sauce last Thanksgiving and it was wonderful. But there was another sauce I liked also and it was very good too. Now this sauce accompanies duck very well because it adds very nice flavor to the meat. So we're going to look at our ingredient list and then we're going to put the ingredients in. So we have one cup sugar, two tablespoons cornstarch, one, one and one fourth cup orange juice, one tablespoon lemon juice, and then one tablespoon butter, which is over there, which we're going to use later after the sauce has thickened, because this sauce is going to thicken. So, we're going to put all the ingredients in. So, we're going to start by pouring the orange juice. Now, this is the very tricky part because you have to make sure um, this doesn't splatter. So, you, you, you do it slowly, but a good, a good um, trick is to put your whisk in and then pull the sauce gently over it so it doesn't spatter. So, pull the orange juice in. Then, we're going to pull our sugar in, all the sugar. And then, as you can see, the sugar is, um, with the uh, orange juice is absorbing the sugar. So now we're going to put in a lemon juice to help that absorb. And then finally, our cornstarch. Then we're going to whisk it very well. And um, I thought this sauce was a pretty neat idea. So you want to whisk until you don't see the cornstarch. The cornstarch is going to add some very nice flavor. So, so whisk until all the cornstarch has been mixed well and it's invisible. So we're going to whisk a little more. So this sauce is very easy because you can come up with many ways to have it, like for example, meat. So this is the orange sauce all done. Now we're going to take the sauce over to our stove and put it on this bono, bono 3. And then we're going to take over a whisk. And now we're going to turn on the heat. So then push down and go to med. The heat is turned on. Now we're going to whisk this sauce around until you see bubbles. So we're going to whisk all about two more minutes until we see some bubbles and then we can put the butter in.